Hey, Waterloo Middle School students, this is Mr. Duth, and I am here with another quick video to show you some of the fun stuff that you can be doing in the VEX Code VR platform to keep your robotics and coding skills sharp while we are not able to be at school. So today we're going to be using the playground called Castle Crasher, which is really cool. Um, if we kind of look around at the kind of the 3D version here, you can see um, and we've got some different towers and castles and the goal of this one is to try and knock the castles off but if you notice there's no wall around the edge of our little playground here so if you're not careful your robot can actually fall off the edge and then you're done you're toast so I wanted to point out uh, over here a couple of things that you can be doing Oops, let me quit clicking around like that. Actually, before I show you that, here is the worksheet for this one. Um, and you've got, again, three different levels. And you've got a couple hints down here that I definitely want you to make sure that you check out. But we're going to be looking at this one right here where it says down eye detects red. Now, this robot that we're programming in our virtual world has a color sensor, okay? And it's pointed down. And when it detects red, we're going to tell the robot to turn right. And I'm actually going to change this to 100 degrees. And we'll see what happens, okay? And the other thing I want to show you is I have this in a forever loop, okay? So this whole thing is going to loop forever until I hit the stop button over here. If I don't hit the stop button, it's going to keep going, okay? So our code is pretty simple here. Drive forward. So it's going to... Just start moving forward, and then it's going to push through this castle, hopefully, right here. And then when it gets to the edge over here, it should turn right and head kind of in this direction once it turns. And then when it hits this edge over here, it should turn in this direction. And it's just going to keep bouncing around. And we're going to try and get it to hit as many of those castles, as many of those towers as we can. So there it goes through the first one pushing part of it off the edge right now. There it goes, it got to the edge, it turned, it's gonna hit this one now. Awesome. And then it's just gonna keep going and going and going. So you can see over here, this is highlighted green until the eye detects red, then it's gonna turn right, and then it's gonna wait until it detects red again. So it's just gonna keep bouncing around our little playground here. Oh, and my robot, that's what happens, it fell off. I don't know why that happened. But uh, I've run this probably 10 or 12 times today, and it's never done that. But I can always stop, reset, and I can always run my program again. Now, this isn't a perfect program to solve the problems that they have in each of the levels on the worksheet. So what I want you to do this week is I want you to dig into your code a little bit more and see if you can figure something out. You can start with what I've got here, but see if you can tweak that code and make it work even better. My robot just fell off the edge again for some reason. So there's a lot of trial and error with this stuff. You just have to work with it, try different things. The great thing is you can stop the program, you can make a change to your code, and you can play it right away and see if that change made a difference in what you're trying to get your robot to do or not. So give those things a try. Hope you're having fun. And again, make sure that um, as you're working on these, you send them uh, in some way to your teachers. Um, Take a screenshot, take a screencast like I'm doing, and uh, see if you can share this information with your teachers so they can see what you're doing. So stay safe out there, and I'll be back with another video next week.